Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Bit button developers, buckle up as we explore OpenAI Codex, a cutting-edge AI tool for code generation and understanding. In this beginner-friendly guide, we will uncover the fundamental and unleash the potential of OpenAI Codex for your coding adventures. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, what is OpenAI Codex exactly? So here we have a brief introduction for us or definition. So OpenAI Codex is an artificial intelligence model developed by OpenAI. It parses natural languages and generates code in response. It powers GitHub Copilot, a programming auto completion tool for select IDS like Visual Studio Code in NeoVim. Now let's go ahead and open the first link that will show up and get to understand more how we can use this codex. So we open AI codex. We've created an improved version of open AI codex, our AI system that translates natural language to code. New R releasing it through a uh, our API in private beta sprouting today. It was released on August 10th of 2021. Now, what about this AI exactly? So, literally, it will allow you, for example, when we go to ChatGPT, um, so when I am right here, I'm gonna say, write me a text uh, or a script in JavaScript. Uh, or Java that has a calculator and there we go so here it is now it will create for us a calculator it will calculate stuff for us which is pretty perfect so this is not as easy as you think so this in the background has gone through a lot of training a lot of stuff going on in there so it can understand exactly what i am looking for so in few seconds this ai has turned my question or my text right here which is in the natural language which is basically english so we are talking about natural language we are talking about the languages that we speak with that human being speak and communicate with each other with into something that I am looking for in programming. So here they have made a calculator basing on my script or my demand I have written in the natural language. This is exactly what Open Codex does. So here, how can I implement it for my own AI as an example or my own platform? This is what Open AI Codex does. So they have a lot of people to actually connect this to the platform using an API in private beta. So here to start using you simply have to click on that and here they are basically explaining it more in depth which we are going to view later on. So this is the introduction to GPT etc text generation and basically here this is exactly explaining how you can import everything into your code in details so you can have json mode set completions and completion api legacy and everything so you have to follow throughout that step by step to understand how you can implement it into your platform first of all you have to understand that your platform has to get the text generation models so it has to accept the fact that there will be a conversation so this is the first thing a conversation has to be added into your uh, platform which is chat completion API so chat models take a list of messages as input and return the model generated messages as output and throughout the chat format designed to make multi-turn conversations easy it's just as useful for a single turn task without any conversation an example chat completion api call looks like the following so this is an api and how it works so from open ai op imports open ai client equals open ai response etc so you can view the code right here you can literally view it and 
yeah you can copy it in case you would like to have it in your visual code studio or you can follow me step by step as i said in this video click on this link and you will be taken to this page where they are explaining it exactly how it looks now for to mimic the effect seen in chat gpt where the text is returned uh iteratively set the stream parameter to true as you can see here you have to follow that step by step so they are literally explaining to you how to make something that looks just like ChatGPT, which is pretty insane to be honest so here there is a lot of things that's what that's are basically going on um we have here chat com completion response formats and basically guys you know that this is uh machine learning so once you are doing this code you have to actually share it with dozens and thousands of people that are going to use daily for a year at least so the machine can learn how to respond to all kind of different messages there will be still some i mean not some but a lot of messages that the machine will not be able to respond to but at least it will learn so this is the basics of machine learning you will give a code the machine will start doing and implementing the code and with the result that it is getting it's gonna start learning so this is exactly what you're looking for now after you have done and amplified the api of chat completion we are now in the json mode a common way to use chat completion is to instruct the model to always return a json object that makes sense for your use case by specifying this in a system message while this does work in some cases occasionally the models may generate output that does not pass to valid json objects to prevent these errors and improve model performance when using gpt 40 or gpt 4 turbo or even gpt 3.5 turbo you can set response format to type json object to enable json mode when json mode is enabled the model is concentrated to only generate strength that passed into valid JSON objects. So this is very important as well to make notes with. After you finish with that, you have to manage your tokens. For example, the string ChatGPT is great is encoded into six tokens. So chat, which is basically a word, G P T is great, and then the exclamation mark. The total number of tokens in an API call affects how much your API call costs as you pay per token how long api call takes as written more tokens takes more so this is how apis work and here they are literally explaining everything for you step by step so you can learn everything in details so you can start using their open ai codex and implement the chat gpt4 or the newest one at the time of this video released and all your time when you are watching this video and implement it in your platform so yeah guys that was it and see you guys in the next tutorial